Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Camaro. Today we're going to do a little painting. The weather outside is finally nice here in Oklahoma. It's been below freezing and if you've done any painting outside you know that the paint does not do well uh, when it's cold. So it's finally, uh, it's actually about 65 degrees outside and sunshiny. So uh, we're going to set up a little, uh, little booth today and we're going to do a little painting. But first, we actually got a package in the mail. So we're going to kind of open up to see what's inside. Um, yeah, here we go. Or so. All right, so let's check it out. So, you know, I know we're going to be doing a lot of mods, so we started ordering stuff. So I'm not, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff on order right now, so I'm actually not sure what's inside this box. So we're going to check it out. Oh, okay, so I bet you this is my finishing kit. Yes, finishing tools. So if you don't have any finishing tools in your, uh, in your arsenal, you need to get these because these will actually save you a lot of time when you're getting all those little clips and stuff off. Uh, when we start doing some interior stuff uh, and panels, this helps, with, helps get that stuff off. Uh, I went with the hard plastic. Uh, that way it doesn't mar it up, and I did get the get this one because it's it's great for underneath the hood, and the windows are a little bit tougher. So yeah, so finishing toolkit, awesome. All right, so this is a riv nut gun, not a rivet gun, but a riv nut gun, uh, and we're gonna need this because uh, we just ordered a brand new spoiler from SouthernCarParts.com. Um, it is actually being painted right now, so it'll be shipping soon. But the reason why we need this is because we're going to order a wicker bill from Z01 Add-ons, uh, which is going to be great because you, you actually have to have this in order to get that wicker bill on. So uh, they actually sell them, but I think they were sold out. So I went ahead and just got on Amazon and picked one of these up. Uh, and then the rivet gun. And the rivet gun, we're gonna need this because when we start doing, uh, when you add the, the front splitter on the car and the side skirts as well, uh, these are, a lot of times they use these rivets, put them on, so. So yeah, some cool tool, some, some tools that we need to get the job done. What exactly are we painting today? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be painting some of the caps and some of the plates that are underneath the hood in the engine compartment. Uh, yes, I know that there's a lot of manufacturers out there that sell pre-painted, pre-billet, you know, made uh, caps and covers and stuff. Um, we're actually going to do some of this ourselves. Um, try to save a little, save a little bit of cash, but uh, I know it's going to come out great anyway. So let's go take a look at what we're going to do. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to be taking some of the caps and some of these plates off of, out of the, in, off the engine and those are what we're going to be painting. So. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take these fuel rails off and it's really super difficult, it's really really hard and it's going to take you a whole long time. Just kidding. So they literally come off of these, you have these two little grommet things that kind of sit on these posts right there. Uh, so those, those come right off. Okay, so here's the meat and potatoes of this. Uh, the hard part here is that you gotta get these, they call them tree, uh, tree bolts, um, and they actually have to unscrew these, and you have to have a deep socket, 10 millimeter uh, socket to get these off because of these posts. Um, but first, we're gonna take off this hose, and these are just some really, really quick um, clips like that and then pop right off just like that just like so and you just gonna move this up and out of the way again you're gonna have to take a deep socket um, this is a 10 millimeter and I'm, I'm using a 3 8 inch drive you can use quarter drive because these are not really torqued on here real hard it's really they're just here to kind of keep uh, this this on so basically because they're so deep um, they run a risk of getting into the top of these things unless you have really, really long ones. Um, but you just need just enough to get in there to kind of get that thing un unleashed. There you go. And it really, literally comes out that easy. And you just kind of unscrew this with your hand. Like so. But. Okay. 
there are some zip tie clips that are actually helping holding this thing down All right now as you may have done some research you may have seen for those of you that you can actually get on the GM website and buy the replacement zip ties for about 25 bucks or you can run down to Home Depot Lowe's and buy some zip ties for about five bucks um, I'm going for that option and really the zip ties are kind of help holding this thing on but it's also these wires these lines that kind of keep them nice and tight and in place so when we were talking about those clips and how it's kind of holding them on you see right there that's kind of what I'm talking about so when you clip the zip tie right off right there um, it's going to break away from this little housing and really and you'll see here in a second that all we're really doing is kind of detaching this hose or this line from the actual cover so that's all right so you see the zip tie right in there uh, I want to be careful because I want to cut the zip tie but not that all right all right success all right so you kind of see how that's that's all broken out right there like that yeah out from underneath there boom all right so you have to disconnect this line back here obviously because it's running through the hole all right so all you have to do is we pull this out it's a little tab right there you just push down and that slides right out so really really easy it's kind of it's just this one of the sensors that one of the mini sensors that you have on the car. So this whole side, you see these holes, see where they kind of lined it right there. Careful not to mess up your, your sensor there. All right, so this side's up. Okay, so now we're gonna go around the other side. Now, this thing should lift straight out. Now, see this is what happens folks, real life stuff. One right there. So there's four on each side. I thought there's th only three on this side, but there's actually four. That's okay. So now, as you lift it out, kind of see, these are those little clips that I'm telling you. All right, so now we're gonna take off all the caps um, for the engine. So one thing that uh, I'm very, very particular, I wanna, I, I wanna make sure that nothing gets inside um, the open compartments where we're taking the caps off. Um, I, I don't want any debris in there. So we're actually gonna cover them up. So I basically you just take some painter's tape and create these little paint panels. And so uh, I'll understand, you'll understand what I mean. So we're gonna take this one off. So, so it's over here. Then we're gonna take one of these paint panels and we're gonna put it right over the hole. So this way, nothing gets down inside there while we are doing our artwork and our art project. All right, nice seal on there. All right, and this won't leave any residue, obviously, because it's painter's tape. It's a quick release and stuff. Okay, the last cap is your windshield wiper. Uh, this one has this little this little ring thing here that kind of helps hold this so that you don't lose it. Uh, this is really simple. You just take a little small little uh, flat tip screwdriver, and back where the hinge starts, kind of kind of connects. Let's kind of get down in there between there and kind of gently, gently, kind of pry it off and kind of work itself around, and it pops right off just like that. Okay, so then obviously we're going to put our cap on over to make sure it doesn't get nasty inside. Okay, so now we're going to get started here with the paint process. Now, now what kind of paint do I want to use? 
Uh, you can't just use just any kind of paint because it's inside the engine compartment, especially with, with this baby. Even though um, it's actually not touching much metal, you're still gonna have that residual heat from the engine. Um, so I went ahead and went with Duplicolor engine paint. Uh, they have lots of colors available. Uh, I went with red because I wanted to match the um, the striping that's already on the car. Plus, we have something in the works later on down the line, and we want to make sure that all kind of ties in together. Uh, and then we're going to use a clear coat over it. Both of them are uh, 500 degrees. So as you kind of see, it's a 500 degree, so it'll it'll hold up to uh, those high temperatures. It's made for engines, so. What else do you need? You need a little isopropyl alcohol, and, and the alcohol is gonna kinda of help clean uh, the surfaces of the areas to make sure there's no grease or grime or dirt because you don't want any of those particulates on there once you start painting because you want a nice, clean, smooth surface. Uh, obviously, we're gonna, we're gonna do some, some masking off on the undersides to make sure that those, now the threads or the underside of the caps get any kind of paint or contaminant on there as well. We don't wanna transfer that down to the inside of the engine as well. So, and before we can paint this, we gotta get all these clips off and these shrouds off too. So, let's go ahead and do that first uh, and then we will we'll get the, all this taped off. In order to get these out, we've got these just two little prong, plastic prong clips. And really, it's just a matter of giving them a quick squeeze and then pushing them back through the hole and those, come, those will go up relatively easy, just like that. Now, we gotta get these, these babies off. Oh wait, this just came in the mail today. Awesome. So we're just gonna use, this is a rigid one. Um, it's gonna get up on it. And the reason why I'm using this is I don't want to mar up uh, the underside of this thing, this thing with the metal. Um, so we're just gonna pop these babies off. Sometimes they're a little bit less cooperative. So you kind of see they've got these prongs, just like most uh, most plastic tabs uh, access for, uh, for access panels, just like that. Okay, so we got all the clips off, uh, off all, all, around, all the way around the sides here. So it's all nice and clean and, and it's ready to be prepped. Uh, there is this, this GM parts number sticker on there. If you want to keep it, you can. Um, we're not. Uh, we're, that's going to go away anyway. Because once we're, we're going to prep this and we're also going to put the new red Camaro logo actually on here as well. So uh, like I said before, um, we have to prep these prep these up. So but before you do it, um, you have to Prep it with a little isopropyl alcohol. Right? And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean, uh, clean the, the grooves in here and make sure that there's no contaminants in there so that way when we put this tape on, um, it's, it's gonna be ready to go. So all we're doing is using this masking tape like so. And we're just going to tape it off all the way around so that way no paint gets in there. Like that. So it's all nice and clean. So we're going to wrap these other ones up and get these prepped. So as you can see, we've, we've prepped them all up, got the insides done, make sure that they're all nice and, and protected. All the inside stuff that goes into the actual engine, uh, it's all done. We tape the, obviously we taped down the whole shaft uh, of that. So these are about ready to go. So now we take our isopropyl alcohol. And basically we're just cleaning the surface to make sure that there's no uh, grease, grime, any of that kind of stuff on there that could hinder the paint um, adhering to it. So, and it's a plastic. So this paint actually has ceramic in it too. So it's, it's really kind of helps um, with um, making sure that uh, it'll stick to the plastic. Um, 
anytime that you get into paint and plastic sometimes it'll if it starts to heat up it'll flake off but because this is made for engine uh, we don't have to worry about that last but certainly not least we have and i just want to make sure and again i got all the way down that there's a little uh, grommet, rubber grommet section here that kind of helps keep it inside the, the tube shroud inside the engine. Uh, make sure you get that really, really good and covered so that way you don't get any paint in there and it doesn't flake down into the engine. So isopropyl alcohol, all nice and clean. These are all ready to go. Okay, so we're just basically going to do this uh, a quick sand. Uh, I've already kind of started here. Um, you, you definitely tell that there's kind of a rough, kind of a pebble texture. What I'm looking for is a little bit smoother. So, to give this a quick sand using a really heavy, I mean, a really light um, sandpaper. I don't want to get anything too coarse. If I go too coarse or too heavy, then it's going to leave scratches or gouges in there. And I just want to go just take, basically, just taking the top of those little that pebble texture off. That's really all I'm going to do. Okay, so we've sanded it down. We've got a nice little smooth surface in there. I uh, took a little bit more alcohol and rubbed over it to make sure you get all that all the debris and from the sanding off. Uh, and now we're going to actually going to put it on the new red Camaro logo. It really, is it's not going to be yellow. Uh, we're using the yellow uh, as the stencil. And once we paint, it's going to come. This will actually all come off. And then what's left underneath will be the color of the cover. Everything else will be nice and red. So. Just like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so every can I've shaken up real good. Uh, basically, uh, it's, you know, ten, about ten inches away. I wouldn't go too heavy on the initial coat uh, because you're, you, I'm actually going to put on multiple coats. So just a little at a time. So the reason why I put this cardboard down so I could actually spin the cardboard and not have to worry about touching the, the actual caps with my hands so I don't get any fingerprints. Now we'll sit here and we'll wait. We're going to let this dry for about an hour. It says, the, the, the directions say and the website says that it'll be dry to the touch in about one hour. Okay, so uh, we have the first coat down. Uh, obviously. We're gonna to have to do a couple of coats. We'll do a lot, real light sanding between each one just to make sure that, uh, that you have nice even coverage. I wasn't too worried about hitting all of it. I just wanna make sure you get the main pieces first, get a good even coat. We'll let this dry and, and then um, we'll come back and do another coat. After we, we've, we've done a couple coats here and the final actually it's better when you and it's still just a little tacky because if it dries completely then the paint would have a tendency to um, dry on the, the vinyl it's it's very kind of tedious but once you get that corner up Let's take some tweezers. Boom, now you have the red Camaro logo. All right, so uh, we got our, our caps all painted and now we're just gonna kinda take off all our, all our Tape and make sure that uh, things nice and clean and ready to go back on. Push that on. All right. So as you can kind of see, this is what it looks like. All nice, pretty gloss red.
You know, notice I didn't paint in here because that's actually on the inside. That's where the grommets are, and we don't want to mess with that. We don't want to contaminate the inside of the chamber there. So. So you know it's right when it's all nice and snug on there. So you're gonna see there. Uh, I did go over with a black paint pen over the edges there to kind of highlight that, uh, and before I did the clear coat on on the, on all the caps there. This one and also uh, the brake fluid over there as well. I kind of did the cap there as well. So it's just a simple black paint pen. Okay, so uh, the engine cover is done. It's dry. Um, I did uh, three coats of the red. Uh, let them dry pretty good in between, did a, did a rough wipe down on each one. Uh, and then we pulled the vinyl off here for uh, for the stencil for the logo. Um, and then went over with at least two more coats of clear coat. Uh, so it gives us a nice durability. It's nice and dry. Um, after that, basically you just pop these, uh, pop these right back into the holes. Um, next thing we're going to make sure we're going to run the zip ties through the four points there uh, to attach the, attach the lines. Um, so let's just put this thing back on. All right, so I'm gonna show you how. Uh, I did these back ones here already um, because those are just funky and it'd be hard for the camera to kind of get back there and see. But if you see, remember, there's a hole there, right? And it's covered. So you just take your zip tie, go straight down, and I just reach down with my needle nose pliers and grab it and pull it back around like that because I got big old fat fingers and nice and snug. Now you notice I have not put these bolts back in because it makes it a little bit easier with a little bit of play with the cover having that getting these lines already. Now remember on this side you got to plug the sensor back in. We're just putting these tree posts back in. Basically, it's a fine haul. Let's get them in. All right, before we put the final things on, I'm just going to do a quick check of everything, make sure I have. All my tools up, caps are on, that's in, posts are in, clamps are on there, good. Caps on, caps on, sensors plugged back in, those are snug. So the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna come through here and I'm gonna clip all these long ends off of these ties. There. 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 All right, so now we put the fuel rails back on. Be careful going back in here. All right, so uh, we finished up. So this mod was relatively easy. Uh, if I had to do a one to 10, it's probably about a six. Uh, only reason I called it a six is because it takes time to do uh, the, the paint in the layers, uh, and that's patience thing. So, and also restringing those uh, zip ties back on for the lines, that was kind of cumbersome a little bit. But other than that, it was relatively easy. Uh, lots of great um, mods coming up. We have a brand new spoiler coming from southerncarparts.com. It is actually in paint right now. Uh, as soon as it gets here, we're actually gonna take it 
and we're going to take it over to a friend of mine, uh, Rick Crow and Derek Forkel. You can see their information down below. Uh, they're actually going to wrap it for us. Uh, we're going to do a little carbon fiber action. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and then uh, we're going to be doing some interior stuff, some more interior stuff as well. Um, we're going to do a cold air uh, from Rotofab, and that's coming up in uh, the coming weeks as well. So lots of great material. So you want to make sure that you um, log on and subscribe and like us below. Follow us. Uh, follow us on Red's Journey. Um, and lastly, we're going to be doing a design for Red for Wrap. Uh, we didn't want to paint it. We're going to go wrap and so we're kind of thinking up through some different kind of ideas um, of what to do um, and this is kind of uh, a rendition of kind of what we're going to what we're thinking about doing um, let me know what you think i mean if you like it if you hate it uh, if you um, think it's awesome let me know uh, we'd love to hear your feedback on it uh, but that's kind of the idea um, black fading into red with some red flames going on um, derek and Rick are going to be doing some uh, doing some stuff with it, so we're just waiting on the graphics. So, hey, thanks for tuning in to Red Camaro. If you like the information, again, subscribe below, and uh, we'll see you soon.